I'm so insanely passionate about because it touches upon every aspect of your artistic being, of your artistic life. Uh, we get to the root. So, so many modalities, mentalities, coaching, techniques, a lot of it deals with surface level shifts, which are great. But if we really want to create lasting change in our lives and careers, we need to go below the surface. We need to get into the high. We need to get into this subconscious programming that is controlling all of what we're currently creating, whether that's a certain belief system or a certain emotional habit or just thoughts you feel like you can't control or something you wanna create, right? Maybe you wanna call in more money. Maybe you want to amplify your health. Maybe you wanna enrich your relationships. And I get a lot of questions about how, well, is this just for my artistic career or is this just for me as an artist? And my answer is, Everything in our lives impacts our artistic careers, whether it's our relationships with our families, our relationships with our finances, our relationships to ourselves, right? That's the essence of everything. How we believe in ourselves, how we talk to ourselves, how we show up when we're feeling like shit, which has been like a really big thing moving through me this week. And if I didn't have tapping, I don't know what I'd be doing. Uh, I, I truly, like I look at my life and career and, and where I used to be even just a few years ago and, and the growth that's happened and the growth that I witness now in my clients and the breakthroughs they're having, the transformation, the things they're then able to call into our lives. Like this is also something I talk about all the time, how manifesting your dreams, creating your dreams, being a co-creator of your life is inherently a healing process because as we're expanding our capacity to hold and receive and vibrate at higher calibrations so we need to shed everything that is not in resonance with that right so we're peeling these layers and that is inherently a process of of healing and it's a beautiful dance right the more we peel and the good news is there's not an infinite amount of gunk right and tapping allows you to really amplify and and rapidly and sustainably peel those layers like I've had clients say where you know a session with me can be six months of talk therapy like that and I, I obviously don't want to compare and and um I want to honor where everyone is, but that's how fast the energy moves because we're, we're, we're working directly with the nervous system, with our unconscious, with the somatic body. That's where everything are, is stored. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard the issues or in the tissues. So that's, that's a little fun rhyme that I like. But so how we can shift going about bringing our dreams into form. So the way we were most likely raised was you have an idea, you have a wish, and you have to do, 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 do something to make it happen, right? You have to grind it out, you have to push, you have to force, you have to control, you have to maybe even manipulate, you have to worry about it, you have to have anxiety about it, right? This is something that we pick up societally, culturally, uh, from our family dynamics, from our inherited uh, patterns, from our ancestors, just from the world, right? This is how the world operates, most likely, most everyone. So I really want us to examine um, how just you've been going, currently going about bringing your dreams into form and how it's been, number one, feeling, number two, how it's been going for you. <laughs> I'm not, not not judging, not laughing because this shift in my life is what ignited just a revolution of how I go about bringing my dreams into form and it's been an absolute game changer. So the shift I have made and the shift I invite you to make and it's a daily practice, right? This isn't something we're just like, oh, I do it once and I got it. Like we have been conditioned and programmed and to do, to do, 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 to hustle, to make happen, to push, to force, most likely our entire lives, right? That doesn't just fall away. Uh, and 
and we want we want certainty as humans we want certainty as artists and we want certainty as humans and the beautiful thing about being an actor and being an artist is that you have to learn how to dance in the uncertainty you have to learn how to embrace it to move with it to groove with it to find the joy in it to actually open yourself up to the miracle of it right it's the void we we can sometimes spin out in our thoughts and say oh my gosh this could happen or this could happen or this could happen or we can shift and reframe and say oh my gosh this could happen this could happen this could happen do you see even the vibrational shift happening right there so what i wanted to offer was that before we do the thing Right? Maybe you're writing an email to an agent. Maybe you're redoing your resume. Maybe you're updating your reel. Maybe you're just, you just want to talk to yourself differently in the mirror, whatever it might be. I invite you to first focus on your energy. Before you take action, before you plan out how it's going to happen, before you try to make it occur a certain way, I invite you to shift your energy into how not only you want to be feeling in the process of co-creating it, but into how it feels receiving it already. So there's this amazing quote by Dr. Joe Dispenza, you cannot think greater than how you feel. So if you are showing up to send that email in a state of overwhelm, in a state of anxiety, in a state of worry. You cannot think greater than thoughts on the level of anxiety, overwhelm, and worry. If you have read an article and you're feeling hopeless, you're feeling resentful, you're feeling judgmental, you cannot think greater than the emotions of judgment, hopelessness, whatever else I said, despair, discouragement, whatever that may be. So the first order of business always, and when we try to force it mentally, this is why mindset work is so limited. When we try to force it mentally, we actually make our brain worse. So the first order of business always is to shift our energy. Emotion is energy in motion. To make anything, or I don't want to say make, to allow anything different to occur, it begins with the energy. So that means tap, breathe, shake it out, scream into a pillow, cry, um, sing, whatever it might be. Shift that energy and allow a new state to ripen in your being, in your nervous system. So, so often when I'm in a state of, hi, welcome, when I'm in a state of anxiety or hopelessness or overwhelm, my goal isn't to reach a state of ecstasy and joy. My goal is to allow myself to fully process this uncomfortability, this intensity without analyzing it, right? We're not gonna be like, why do I feel so? We can't think greater than how we feel. So the first order of business is to allow ourselves to fully process the dynamics of that feeling so we can release it and transmute it. And the next space I'm looking to go to is, is calm, is, is just presence, is forgiveness, is acceptance. And this is something we do in tapping, which is so magical. It happens all at once. And then once you reach that state of presence, awareness, acceptance, forgiveness, then we can start to move up. Then we can say, oh, actually, maybe I feel kind of curious right now, or maybe I feel full of, of wonder, or maybe I feel like I want to invite more excitement into my being. And then we get to move up the ladder towards that joy, towards that ecstasy. So it's not a forcing and a pushing, but it's in fact an allowing and appealing of layers. So I really wanted to share that before we begin today because this tap is yours. It's yours to do whenever you want to, before a self-tape, before you send an email, if you're just feeling really blah, blah, blah on a Sunday morning, this tap is for you. And Again, what I love about tapping is we go directly to the root. So anytime you tap, you are regulating your nervous system. <laughs> anytime you tap, you are 
you're clearing any dysregulation in your field. Anytime you tap, you're opening yourself to more vitality, higher immunity, you're changing your genes, you're rewiring your brain, you're inviting more magic into your life and accelerating your manifesting superpowers, right? It all gets to happen at the same time and it gets to be that delicious. So thank you <laughs> for listening to all of that. <laughs> That was longer than I wanted to, but I'm so thankful you're still here because we're going to get into this. All right, let's take a sip of water, settle into the space. Lots of water, lots of hydration. Let's take a deep belly breath in. Release it all out with a sigh. <sighs> Amazing. Beginning to massage the emotional well. This is the soft spot underneath our collarbones. We... We tend to hold a lot of emotion here. <laughs> we hold a lot. So even just this can offer you some movement and processing and release. So I want you to tune into your life right now, your career, your day, this moment, and just feel where you're out of sync, where you're out of alignment, where you're feeling dysregulated, where you're feeling anxious or overwhelmed or stressed or just, just like, what, where, what's happening? <laughs> all of that, all of that is welcome here. We hold it in love, in tapping. Let's take a deep breath in, release a big sigh. <sighs> tapping the center of the chest, repeating after me. And if what I say isn't accurate to your experience, you jump on in and say, what is? If you don't know what you're feeling, give what I have to say a go. It's possible that you're numb. So remember that we can't, drill in any numbness or negativity. We can only draw it to the surface and heal it with love. Hi. So repeating after me. I'm feeling a lot of intensity right now. I'm feeling a lot of intensity in my being right now. And I want you to just tune into what that is for you. Where the dysregulation is happening if there's a certain emotion that springs to your mind, overwhelm, anxiety, worry, discouragement, distress, distraught. Right now I'm feeling, tell me how you're feeling. And even though I'm feeling, tell me what it is. I'm open to loving and accepting myself. I'm open to forgiving myself for feeling. It's possible I'm still a good human being. And I'm still an incredible artist. And it's possible I'm still worthy of love. exactly as I am. Deep breath in, let it all out. <sighs> Tapping in between the eyebrows, I'm already burping. That's totally normal. When we move the energy and tapping, there's a lot of symptoms of off-gassing that can occur. Hiccuping, tingling, burping, crying, shaking. It's all really, really good and important to the process. So just let your body uh, move the energy as it needs to, okay? Tapping the temples. I'm feeling a lot of intensity right now. Tapping underneath the eyes. I'm feeling overwhelmed and stressed. Tapping underneath the nose. I'm feeling worried and confused. Tapping underneath the lips. I'm feeling really dysregulated. Tapping the center of the chest. Like I don't even know where my center is. Where is my center? Just tuning into where that imbalance is happening, how it's feeling, how it's affecting your life, how you show up for your life. Tapping the front of the ribs. I've been feeling this dysregulation for a while. Tapping the side of the ribs like this or like this. 
And even though I'm feeling deeply dysregulated, tapping the inside of the left wrist, and I don't quite know how to find my center, and I feel really out of alignment, and it's really overwhelming, tapping the side of the thumb by the nail. I'm open to accepting how I feel. Tapping the pointer finger by the nail. It's possible that by accepting how I feel, I'll be able to move it with more ease and grace. Let's take a deep breath in here, moving to the middle finger by the nail. <sighs> so, so often when we're feeling discomfort or dysregulated or just totally out of whack, we're in resistance to even fully allowing that to happen to us. Then that creates another layer. So we're feeling, tapping the opposite side of the next finger by the nail, so if we're feeling dysregulated, we're feeling out of alignment, we're feeling upset, we often have judgments about that. We often have self-criticism being like, why can't I get out of this? Why do I feel like shit? What's happening? I thought I already dealt with this, right? And it creates another layer, another layer, and then you're stuck in that cycle and it just keeps on going. So we're just gonna hold how we're feeling in acceptance right now, tapping the inside of the pinky finger. And I really invite you to tune into the full capacity of it and allow it to rise to the surface. And if you were to measure the intensity of this feeling on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the most activated, the most uncomfortable, and zero being I'm totally chill, I'm flying high, I'm regulated and aligned AF, where would you be on the scale right now? Tapping the side of the hand. Right now I'm at a, Tapping all over the head. Right now I'm at a, tell me the number. And that's totally understandable. It's completely understandable that I'm at a, tell me the number. Tapping in between the brows. And I'm choosing to hold myself in love right now. Tapping the temples. I forgive myself for how hard this has been. Tapping underneath the eyes. I've been going through a lot. Personally and professionally. Tapping underneath the nose. It's been a big struggle for me. tapping underneath the lips. So it makes perfect sense that I feel, tell me what you feel, what number? Tapping all over the chest. And I'm open to holding myself in love and compassion right now. I'm open to holding myself in deep empathy and respect. I'm choosing to forgive myself for how hard this has been. Tapping the front of the ribs. This has really been hard. And just tuning into the last four years we've had as actors, and if you're in another artistic profession, just tuning into the own, your own uh, voyage and journey up to this moment the highs and the lows and all the in-betweens tapping the side of the ribs. And I really just want you to honor yourself for having made it to this moment. You're here, you're tapping with me inside of the right wrist. You're showing up, you're choosing a different way. You're regulating your nervous system, <laughs> which is the baseline of it all. It's the baseline of it all. Let's take a deep breath in right here. <sighs> Let it all out. 
right, tapping the side of the left, right hand by the nail thumb. <laughs> I'm really proud of myself for making it this far. Tapping the pointer finger by the nail. I'm really proud of myself for showing up with my heart wide open. When so often life and the industry want to shut my heart down. Tapping the middle finger. When the industry wants to take away my power. When the industry can make me feel helpless and hopeless. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. When I still somehow feel so far away from my dreams, I know I'm here to bring forth. Tapping the inside of the pinky finger. I'm choosing to hold myself in love and acceptance right now. And I'm choosing to hold my artist in love and acceptance right now. Tapping the side of the hand. Because it's possible I'm worthy of that. It's possible I'm worthy of that softness and suppleness. It's possible I'm worthy of taking my time. It's possible I'm worthy of loving myself each step of the way. It's possible being in my alignment and power is the way. Tapping all over the head. And it's possible I'm exactly where I'm meant to be right in this moment. And that's something to truly celebrate. Take a deep breath in, release a big sigh. <sighs> Amazing. Tapping in between the eyebrows, tuning into the number you shared with me, with yourself before. Let's just see, is it the same? Has it gone down? Has it gone up? If it's gone up, that just tells us there was some numbness there and now we're actually getting to the real feeling. So good on you. Even though I still feel some dysregulation. It's happening underneath the eyes. Even though I still have some anxiety and stress. Tapping underneath the nose. I'm open to bringing love to this anxiety and stress and dysregulation. Hi. Part of me is really ready to feel balanced. Part of me is really ready to be set free. Tapping all over the chest. Part of me is really ready to be in flow. <laughs> oh, sorry, I got it. <laughs> I need focus. Yes, but you know about the tapping session right now, so it's perfect. You can do the full thing on the replay. <laughs> Part of me is ready to just align with the divine right now. And part of me doesn't feel like it's possible. Tapping the front of the ribs. Part of me feels super resistant still. Part of me feels afraid it won't last. Tapping the side of the ribs. Like, what's the point? And even though part of me still feels this resistance, tapping the inside of the left wrist, and maybe even feels like, I don't want to keep tapping. What's the point? <laughs> I'm open to loving this part of myself anyways. Deep breath in. Let it all out. <sighs> all right, tapping the side of the thumb by the nail. So I want you to tune into the part of you that's still feeling dysregulated, still feeling out of alignment, still feeling frustrated, still feeling like it won't last, still feeling resistant, feel, still feeling just against, just againstness and pushback to all of this, to even being here with me right now and most importantly being here with yourself and your artist. And I want you to tune into where you feel it in the body. Tapping the pointer finger by the nail. 
Where does it live in the body? <clears throat> is it in your throat, in your head, in your stomach? Is it all over the place? Do, where is it inhabiting? Hi, what's the texture? Is it sticky, is it prickly, festering, oozing, metallic, tapping the middle finger by the nail? Is it just this static around you, just this impenetrable just orb around you that just can't let anything in or out? I want you to fully feel it right now, allowing yourself to fully be with the sensation, with the uncomfortability, with the resistance, with the againstness, with the pushback. Maybe there's certain thoughts that are starting to show up. Maybe there's just emotions that are coming forth, judgment or shame or criticism or guilt or just anger. Let's be with it fully right now. Take a deep breath in. Release a big sigh. <sighs> Amazing. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. I love and deeply accept myself. Exactly as I am. And it's possible I can move through this. Hi. It's possible. It's way more easy than I could ever think. Typing the inside of the pinky finger. It's possible. My home base of balance gets to be my new normal. Tapping the side of the hand. It's possible I can embody a fully regulated and resilient and flexible nervous system. so I can abundantly handle whatever life or the industry throws my way. Just want you to tune into yourself, being able to just handle it all. What would that be like, right? We're not looking for constant calm. We're not looking to be constantly chill. We want a flexible nervous system. We want the capacity to feel, right? Especially as actors, that's, that's, that's our job. <laughs> that's our craft, that's our gift. But when we're feeling constantly overwhelmed, constantly dysregulated, we can't do very much from that state of being. But also, just being in the highs, highs, highs of life would get terribly boring. So we want to build that elasticity. We want the flexibility. We want the resilience. We want that comeback rate, that bounce back rate. And that's what tapping gives us so beautifully because we get to be in the full feels, come back to our center, and then choose how we want to think, choose how we want to feel, choose what we want to believe and it's so deeply empowering and exciting tapping all over the head take a deep breath in release a big sigh <sighs> you're doing amazing we're gonna go a little deeper and then we're gonna jump on off we're gonna take off we're gonna lift off tapping in between the eyebrows. So I want you to tune into the part of you that still might feel dysregulated still feel anxious still feel upset where it is in the body any thoughts that are arising, emotions bubbling to the surface, feel it fully in the body right now. And I invite you to call forth a moment from this week, a moment from a month ago, maybe it's a moment from childhood that's gonna come forth right now with us. Trust your body, trust your intuition, trust your subconscious. Excuse me, that's exactly right, exactly what you need in this moment. And I want you to tune into when you first felt this way. The first moment you felt this way, maybe it's something from this morning, right? Maybe it's some a conversation you had with a with um, a director or a coach or a friend. Maybe it's you didn't get a role and you're just still out of a funk. You're in a funk with that. Whatever it is, right? I want you to just be in that moment right now, as if you're witnessing it in a movie. Tapping underneath the nose. You can close your eyes if it's safe to do so. Obviously, not if you're driving. Hopefully, you shouldn't be tapping at all if you're driving. <laughs> That's, you need a safe, quiet space to do this. Uh, to closing your eyes and just seeing yourself in that moment of distress. Tapping underneath the lips. In the moment of shutdown. In the moment of hurt or confusion or dysregulation or just feeling totally about life. Seeing yourself, allowing it to fully, the experience to fully take place in the body. The emotions coming up, the thoughts, the beliefs, the hurt. Being with it. And this, witnessing this iteration of you, this version of you, this advanced being that is you. Go into that memory and give yourself a great big hug. 
the biggest bear hug of love and empathy and compassion and forgiveness and presence, just loving it all up. Take a deep breath in, release a big sigh. <sighs> Allowing that hug to touch every cell of your body, every, every um, tendon, every fiber, every muscle, every organ, every gland of your being. Every part of you is receiving this hug. Maybe even the parts, not maybe, definitely even the parts that are might still be in resistance, that might still contract, that might still push back and say no, tapping the front of the ribs. This hug is meeting all of you, just showering you in love, tickling in you in love, dancing with you in love, wrapping and holding holding and embracing and, and loving it up fully, just feeling that. Take a deep breath in, <sighs> letting it all go, tapping the side of the ribs, tuning into if there's anything, any transmission, any message, any inner knowing that's, that's happening right now from this version of you back into that timeline, back into that memory any piece of wisdom, any piece of support, any article of affirmation, any confirmation that it's okay, you're here, you're safe, you're on the right path, I got you, you're a superstar, you're amazing, I love you, whatever it is, letting that transmission take place, take a deep breath in, let it go, tapping the side of the thumb by the nail, I deserve to feel balance here. Tapping the pointer finger. I deserve to feel peace here. Tapping the middle finger by the nail. I deserve to feel supported and aligned here and now. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. I deserve to be a master of self-regulation. <laughs> Tapping the inside of the pinky finger. I deserve to have a flexible and resilient nervous system. Tapping the side of the hand. And I deserve to love myself in the process of growth and evolution. I'm worthy of this balance and peace being my home base. Tapping all over the head. I'm worthy of coming home to myself, my essence, every day. And I'm worthy of creating my dreams from this space. Tapping in between the eyebrows. I'm worthy of thinking new thoughts from this space. Tapping the temples. I'm worthy of sewing in new beliefs from this energetic space. Tapping underneath the eyes. So just tuning into the new vibrational frequency you've created in you and around you. The calm, the peace, the balance, the alignment, the openness, the softness. What kind of thoughts get to arise from this space now like we what, like we chatted about before the tap, you can't think greater than how you feel, but hopefully you're feeling quite a bit better right now. So what kind of thoughts get to come from the home base, the space of peace, of love, of altruism, of abundance, of fluidity, of openness, of regulation, of flexibility? I'm ready to start thinking. Tell me what it is. I can do this. I can take my time. I'm on the right path. My higher self has me. My future, future self has me. My artist has me. Maybe I get to have more fun in the process. <laughs> Tapping all over the chest. What kind of emotions are you ready to thread into your being and your life and career on a regular basis? I'm ready to start feeling. Give me the top three emotions. Peace, balance, love, grace, joy, curiosity, wonder, ecstasy. Tapping the front of the ribs. I'm capable of feeling. Tell me the top three emotions. 
tapping the side of the ribs. I commit myself to feeling, tell me what they are. Tapping the inside of the right wrist. I'm worthy of feeling, tell me what they are. On a regular basis. Tapping the side of the thumb by the nail. This gets to be my new baseline. Tapping the pointer finger by the nail. I'm choosing this to be my new emotional home. And I choose to take great pleasure in my nervous system elasticity. Tapping the middle finger by the nail. I'm a master self-regulator. And this is such an abundant asset to my acting career. <laughs> because it is. It is. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. I deserve to live in a nervous system of ease and flow and peace as my new normal. Tapping the inside of the pinky finger. And I just want you to tune into all the things you can now create and generate and cultivate from this newfound space of peace, of balance, of flow, of openness. I want you to really allow yourself to see that how you're gonna go about your day, how you're gonna show up to the coffee shop, how you're gonna send that email, how you're gonna meet your friends, how you're gonna go about visualizing, mentally rehearsing, calling in what you know is your birthright in your heart and soul. I just want you to go on a rant right now, paint that picture. I'm gonna do this, I'm feeling this, and this is gonna, this magical thing's gonna happen, and then this miracle unfolds, and then ba 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 right? Because we create momentum here, so really just go, go for it. Mm-hmm, keep going. I get to have this and I'm calling in this and I'm becoming this and I'm being this and I'm embodying this and I am sharing this and I'm an overflow of this. Tapping all over the head. And I am deeply worthy of that. My artist is deeply worthy of that. Exactly as I am. Take a deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, amazing work, tapping all over the body, all over the body, all over the body. I want you to tell me five things you are now ready to think on a regular basis with this new emotional baseline that we've set as a precedent in your nervous system. From this new fertile space, what are the thoughts that you are committed to think on a regular basis that then become our beliefs, right? The thoughts we think on repeat get to become our beliefs. We wire and fire them in our brain. So let's wire and fire the thoughts we want to be thinking from this beautiful, abundant, energetic state. I get to have, I'm capable of, I'm worthy of thinking. I can do it. Give me five. My dreams are, are meant for me. I'm a superstar. I am an overflow. All my needs are met. I get to share my gifts with the world. It gets to be easy. The process, I'm in love with the process. Give me a few more. Mm-hmm, good one. <laughs> one more. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, I love that one. Beautiful, deep breath in. Fill it all up, let it out. <sighs> Dropping your hands, open palm in your lap, gently closing your eyes. <sighs> Dropping deep inside your being. Just resting here in the well of alignment, of calm, of presence, of peace flexibility, contentment, openness. 
just allowing yourself to fully rest, fully let go. There's nothing you have to do. There's nowhere you have to be. You've done the work. Allowing yourself to fully soak up this energy and bless this energy into your future timeline, saturating in the present moment and gifting this energy to all the things you have to do, you get to do today, tomorrow, next week, all the visions you're creating, all the potential challenges you're up against. You're gifting this energy forward, backwards, in you, around you, through you, and it's blessing the timeline. Setting this as your new normal, anchoring in this new normal into your nervous system, your unconscious, your neural pathways, your genes, your life, your career, your manifesting powers, just feeling all that potential just vibrate in you and around you and giving yourself permission to dance through your expression, to find the joy in the moment and to share that joy with all those around you. One last deep breath in here, letting it all out, giving yourself a big hug, drinking some water, making note for yourself where you are on the intensity scale. If you started at an eight, Maybe you're at a five. If you started at a four, maybe you're at a one. If you started at a 10, maybe you're at a 3.5. <laughs> Whatever it may be, make that note for yourself. And I'd love for you to share it in the chat and share on the replay as well so we can celebrate each other. This tap, ooh, I'm still having some off gassing. <laughs> this tap is yours. You might still have some tingles or burp a little bit or yawn, lots of yawning. It's all indicative that we're hitting on something that's ready to be processed, released and transformed and transmuted into something even more aligned and expansive. Just acknowledging yourself. It's an honor and a gift to share this with you. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know what future taps you want to focus on. What, what needs your love, what needs your acceptance, what needs your forgiveness, what part of your life or career are you seeking to grow and expand and amplify and move in a radical, beautiful, easeful, loving way. All right, I'll catch you on the next live. Drink water, journal it up, any discoveries, any breakthroughs. You can always email me at impulse at actor to send me a DM and share this with a friend. The more, the more we find our center, the more we're able to move from a state of survival into a state of thriving and a true state of abundance, right? That there's enough room for all of us to have our dreams and success and inner peace and joy and health and vitality um, to commune together. So the beauty is that we get to share in this and that's a core pillar of actor to artist. <laughs> that's, that's what you do in the Russian school. You love the partner even more than yourself. But I also really wanna anchor in that self-love because it is the basis of everything. So an honor to tap with you and I'll see you next time. <laughs>